If this thing doesn't turn around today, I'm painting over it. That's it. God created everything in seven days. It takes me seven months to make a mermaid dresser. This dresser got off to an easy start because the paint I'm using is clay-based and highly pigmented. You just put several colors on your brush and blend them together using a spray bottle full of water. I put on a base coat first, let it dry, and then blended a bunch of blues and greens on my brush. I have this vision of having paint brushes, but it's like I'm playing a symphony that just rolls off the paintbrush. If you are a beginning blender, it's also helpful to use colors that are close together on the color wheel. I'm using Salty Kiss, Mint Chip, Bohemian Blue, and Sea Glass. I'm also using a synthetic wide brush. But that is not how it works. I mean, the blending part was really easy. It's the rest of it that tortured me. I also want to tell you that if you're gonna blend, put on a base coat and let it dry. If you're trying to blend on a slick surface, it can be challenging. I got a text message from Bobby and he's like, how's the mermaid going? I said, it's ugly. And he agreed with me. <laughs> there are lots of hours spent that seem like wasted time. My life is busy, so I have to steal time away to make videos. When a project starts going south, it's frustrating. And I have to remind myself that creativity is never wasted time. Even if the project doesn't turn out well, you're still learning. I started off by using the La Femme stencil by Mara Le Fay. You can find it on our website and in the link below. I need to rewind for a second. I should tell you why I wanted to paint a mermaid in the first place. I went to Hawaii at the beginning of January to visit my aunt. She has a house right on the sand. When I was there, I saw this amazing artist who creates mixed media mermaids. I could not wait to get back and do a piece of furniture that had a mermaid on it. You can find Jen Johnson Art on Instagram. I have a little clip of her at the end that you won't want to miss and a link below. My mom and I opened this store, the one on Cedros. I was trying to do mermaid things. A lot of them didn't turn out good. And my mom was just like, we gotta sell it. It's wasted time, it's wasted materials. I would have this area in the back room and I called it the craft graveyard. And I would just throw all the failed projects into this bin. I would go run errands. I'd walk back into the store and my mom would be selling it to someone. I would be so embarrassed and humiliated. I didn't want anyone to know that I made that thing, but yet somebody was buying it. People like it. Everyone has a different taste. And that's always been my struggle is to, to let it go. Like Jamie says, done is better than perfect. Everybody else's work is great. Mine, I'm like, eh, not good enough. The stencil part was really easy. Because DIY paint is water activated, if you don't like the way your stencil looks, you can spray it down with water, wipe it away, and start again. The challenging part for me was trying to draw freehand. I used chalk, but I got overwhelmed by all the chalk marks that I made. I ended up reworking her hair and her face a couple of times. And here I didn't like the background of her face being green. She looked like an alien. So I'm painting over the stencil and trying to add a light green shade, which still didn't look great. So as you can see, I'm redoing her face two or three times. She definitely needed some color, so I started adding our new Bohemian Brights, which totally helped and I loved. Then I moved on to the tail, which I used another stencil for. I don't know why, but I just wasn't happy with the tail, as you will find out later. Now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to paint over it and do something completely different, or if I'm going to keep nitpicking at it, hoping that it'll turn a corner. Ah, there's my niece. Hold on. Hey, Ellie. Hello, beautiful. Oh, thank you. How are you? Good, you're on my YouTube video right now. What does that mean? I'm recording a video telling them how I hate the mermaid. <gasps> Why? She looks like an alien. No, she doesn't. It's literally my favorite dresser you've ever done. I told you I want to buy it after you're done. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn off the camera now. I tried one last thing. I was thinking that if I applied the wax, then the colors would deepen and get more intense, and then I would like it. 
but that did not happen. Now you see me going back and painting over that face for the fifth time, I don't know. She really needed some color in her face. So I put on a flesh colored paint and I tried adding some gold to the tail. The face was a lot better. I gave her a little bit of blush, but I still didn't like the tail and many things about it. Am I torturing you yet? Bobby came to check up on the mermaid and he told me that he thought the hair was a little bit out of control and that the tail was out of proportion. Then I got out my sander and I started erasing some of the design. This is the great thing about DIY paint. You can go over it a couple of times. In many ways it's like using an artist acrylic paint. You can paint over stuff and do it again, which is what I did. Close to all my enemies cause I protect my energy. Then I erased some of the areas by spraying it with water and I brightened other parts by going over it with more Bohemian Bright. Some people say that when you create, it's a form of worship. We are made in God's image and God is the master creator. So when we're being creative, we're close to God. My creative process is torture sometimes. I feel like I have to take the furniture and make it submit to my will. I tried a few more things that I didn't like. I tried adding pigments to the tail. I tried layering stencils over the tail. This is an angel wing stencil. I don't know what I was thinking. Turning the pages Been burning the candle Staring at faces Of people that I'll never know Echoes in the wind I can hear the echo Cracks beneath our feet Catch up one morning I come in if this thing doesn't turn around today I'm painting over it that's it and I'd been working on it for weeks I don't want to waste all that time and all that video footage but I gave myself one more day and I'm glad that I did because it started to turn around the first thing that I did was rip some decoupage paper by taking my fingernail to create an outline where I had painted the tail then I applied liquid patina to cover up all of the scale marks. I really liked the mixed media factor, which was what I was attracted to when I came across the artist that inspired me in Hawaii. Next, I painted over the tail and I started to apply transfer scraps all over the tail to give the mermaid sort of a botanical look. I completely covered the tail with flower transfers. And then I put flowers and butterflies in the mermaid's hair and I gave the mermaid a flowery floral bathing suit top and I actually started to like it. Let me know in the comments what your creative process is. Tell me about something that you made that didn't start out good and ended up pretty in the end. I found Jennifer in a cute artist colony near my aunt's house. I think you will love her work. You can find her on Instagram. Hi, I'm Jennifer Johnson and that's my artwork on the wall. I guess I started about 12 years ago and I was originally inspired by just looking on the beach for shells every day and thinking these shells are so perfect what can I do with them then I took an art class and the shells just translated into pointillism for me on the canvas and so that's what happened
mermaid dresser is for sale. You can find it on my website or you can come here to DIY a go-go in Encinitas, California. Look at it in person, scrutinize it. Let me know if I should have done anything different to it. We sell the decoupage paper, we sell the stencil, we sell the paint, we sell the transfers. All of the links are down below. And subscribe because we've got a new video coming next week. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Whoever you are, I don't want to know about it. Find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store. Click the link below. Thanks for watching. Street, yeah, I got